Hello again. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Karina. And I'm here again with the pomegranates t-shirt, which I talked about in the previous video. Um, this is from the podcast, My Dad Wrote a Porno. <clears throat> I don't have any affiliation with them, okay? But just go and listen to it because you will laugh your heart out, okay? Nothing left to say and you will find very soon the significance of the pomegranate. But anyway, today I'm here, a little bit of a different video um, in the sense that I don't have anything to show you, but people are always talking to me or telling me rather how I stay in shape and how I am so thin and, you know, all these things. So I thought I'd address them in a video. Uh, just so you know, I'm about to be 40 years old. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm about to be 50, 50 years old, okay? Five zero in two months uh, from the date of this video. Uh, but I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, by the time that the video goes out and I put it up, it could be a, little, a bit shorter than that. But my birthday is on 20th of December. And I'll be 50 this year. And, well... As far as I am, I am five feet nine inches tall, and which in metric is about a meter and 75 centimeters for those who handle metric. And I weigh between 130, 131 pounds, um, which in metric again would be 59, 60 kilos. Now, what I do to stay in shape, I mean, was I always this, this slim? No, I wasn't. In general, I was never a fat person or obese or overweight or anything like that, you know, especially because I'm, I'm tall. Um, you can hide, you know, fat better. But I remember when I moved to this country and the uh, food here and the way of eating is so different. I gained a lot of weight. I got to weigh about 185 pounds. I remember I was like 22. And that is what? Over 30 pounds more than that, that I have now. It was probably about 20 kilos more than I have now. Yeah, it, it was it was very bad. Um, I Like I said, I didn't look obese, but I mean, I had a round face, round, round, and um, obviously, yeah, I mean, I was like size 16 in US, which now I'm between a six and an eight. Um, it took years to lose that weight. Uh, I underwent, underwent a surgery also. But then, the what I do today, what I do nowadays, yes, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't eat much. I never have. And I've always been a person who eats quite slow. When I was a young child, this was particularly, I mean, distinguishable with me because everybody would have finished their meal and I was just beginning. And this was troublesome, especially, you know, if you go to restaurants, people finish and, you know, they, they wait to order dessert. And people had to wait 100 years to just order their dessert because they hadn't finished. But it got better when I, when I uh, as I grew up. But still, you know, I, I'm a slow eater. Um, there are a lot of foods that I don't eat. I don't eat fried foods. Um, I probably never eat rice. Pasta, I used to eat a lot more. Now I hardly ever eat it. I've reduced considerably uh, dairy from my, um, from my diet. Now I drink Oatly, which I have shown you in another video, in other videos of, I think, the empties. And... I've reduced that. I've reduced, I haven't reduced gluten. I do eat, you know, here and there. I like tartines a lot. And I, I eat a lot of smoked salmon almost every day. 
Um, I don't eat a lot of vegetables, as, although I should, you know, and I like them, when I do, I like them just in salads, you know, raw, and I like varied salads. And then as far as exercise, I have a 3,000 square foot house that I clean myself. I have a huge garden. I garden myself. Gardening, I have found, is a great way of doing something physical without using your brain. And, you know, I, if you have a desk job like I do, uh, this will really benefit you because whilst you're there gardening, you're not, you know, your brain is relaxing, but you're putting all your energy from your body. So that's, that's a great uh, thing to do as an aside, as an activity. As far as exercise, um, I do a combination of routines, which I will link below. They are from another channel um, from coach Amy Davis, which she did with a collaboration with the Zoe Report. I will link the routines below. I do those, all the three of them that I will link below, one after another. It takes me about 40, 45 minutes. Um, I, I do those once or twice a week. Um, if I do it once a week, then the other time, another time I would go running and I run, I would run three miles. I mean, combination of walking and running, but you know, running. Um, and then another day I would do weights and another routine also that I will link below and this was with uh, with Estée Lalonde and a coach um, that she once did a routine with and um, this is weights for beginners but those weights work great for me and I'm able to lift like 10 pounds in each arm it keeps my arms firm and I do that once a week I exercise three times a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But then I keep my house, I do my gardening, all of that I do on the on an aside. And perhaps I do two meals a day, two and a half meals a day. And they are not abundant at all. Yes, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I don't know. There are a lot of people that say that, oh, you know, you have to eat these or, you know, mostly focus um, on certain foods if you don't want to gain weight. I don't know. In my case, if I want to lose weight, I have to reduce the amount of food that I eat. It's as simple as that. Okay. Now, I don't restrain myself from anything, and I do have a sweet tooth. I have a horrible sweet tooth. I love chocolate, love, love chocolate, which you probably can tell because of some of the empties that I've done. Um, you can, you know, tell that I love chocolate. And when I go abroad, I'm always buying chocolate and, you know, trying desserts. But that's another thing. When I go abroad, I usually I usually lose weight because I walk a lot. I don't exercise when I go abroad because that's my exercise. I walk everywhere. And, you know, you're with suitcases and, you know, I do a lot of shopping. So I'm usually manning two suitcases in and out of trains. It, 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 can, it can get really, you know strenuous and especially if you go in Europe if you're staying you know in apartments so if you're staying in hotels not necessarily but if you're staying in apartments then <laughs> you have to walk stairs with luggage trust me that is a workout that is the hell of a workout so yes that's how I keep in shape and it works for me it doesn't necessarily mean that in my work for everyone because I do realize that not everyone can survive on meager food um, I mean the portions that I eat are minimal you know they're like appetizer type or sometimes even less um, so but then I also 
exercise a lot and I would recommend yes that you stay that you limit your alcohol that is something that I have done and I think it has had an impact that you limit your dairy go for better options right now there are all these uh, nut based milks or even oat based milk milks like the Oatly that I love um, those are better options some people have reduced soy I mean I hardly ever eat it but you know um, I don't I don't, haven't found that that has an impact for me some people have reduced gluten I haven't reduced gluten but I don't find that that you know has too much of an impact for me and obviously you know I cannot eat chocolate every day or have a great dessert every day because then I would be rolling like everyone else probably but I pretty much eat what I want and when I want it and I just limit quantities when I have when I want to lose some weight so that's my story as about keeping in shape if you have any questions leave them below and I shall do my best to answer them thank you very much for listening for joining me uh, give me a like and a subscribe to my channel if you're interested and I shall see you in my next video bye